Hey my village people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kende, aka Auntie Africana. Today I am sharing with you all this grocery haul of everything that I picked up from Walmart. Y'all, as far as keto shopping is concerned, I have two tips for you. Tip number one, when it comes to Walmart, you want to check Walmart super centers because they have more offerings compared to your Walmart neighborhood, neighborhood Walmarts. And then tip number two, in terms of of grocery shopping in general always read ingredients turn the labels around because you'd be surprised an item that's marketed as keto sometimes has crazy ingredients that isn't keto friendly so let me show you everything I got so these are cauliflower pizza crust you get two crusts in a pack and the ingredients are really clean i believe this is almost ten dollars for each pack sort of pricey but i like them more um like my sandwich toppers my sandwich buns so to speak because every time i've tried to make pizza with them they end up being really soggy and they just don't hold up really well but i like them and they have good ingredients so here's an example of what i mean when i say i use it as a sandwich topper if you want the recipe for this follow me on instagram it's on my instagram highlights here's a sandwich or a burger that I made using that crust so delicious so next is this white cheddar and chicken jalapeno poppers y'all I thought I would like this because who doesn't like chicken and cheese right and it has really good ingredients really good macros but y'all it didn't even taste like jalapeno poppers it tasted a bit gritty and even though it has a creamy cheese filling it tasted a bit dry I did not enjoy it at all. Needless to say, I will not be purchasing again. Next is the spiralized zucchini. I love this so much, especially because it's already done. So it makes things so much more convenient. And y'all, I used to eat so much zucchini noodles when I first started keto over a year ago. I have tons of recipes like this on my Instagram and I make it in so many different ways. It's certainly without question a keeper. I mean, just look at this look at it made it all and i'm sure you'll like it too next is the sun-dried tomatoes which i wanted to try with my tuscan chicken alfredo sauce here on my channel but i did not like this even though it does have pretty good ingredients but yeah i didn't like the texture and i would rather not have it again Next is one of my absolute favorite almond butters. So y'all remember in the beginning when I said always carefully read ingredient labels? Well, here's an example where I failed to carefully read the ingredient label. So I always get this particular almond butter brand. However, this on this day, I just picked up the almond butter without reading the ingredient because the one I always get doesn't have sugar in it. But come to find out this one has sugar in it. So I guess they have two types of almond butter, one with sugar and one without so carefully read next this is the peanut butter variation from that same brand and thankfully this one did not have any sugar in it and although I prefer the almond butter from this brand I did not like this peanut butter at all it kind of leaves an aftertaste that is so unpleasant next the golden child of keto foods cauliflower if you're keto or know someone who is you already know we can't live without our cauliflower point blank period I love it so much but the rice version is my favorite but sometimes I get the florets to make my keto asaro on to one of my favorites spring salad mix do not skimp out on your leafy veggies on keto guys oh my goodness I can't stress that enough I love salad so much and if you follow me on Instagram you know this one is one of my favorites because it has so many different variations in it Moving on to baking, but first this disclaimer. So if you're new to keto, if you are experiencing a plateau or a weight loss stall, y'all do not, absolutely do not engage in keto baking. You will sabotage your progress. Now, I've been in maintenance for over eight months now, so I can have these things. But if you're new, guys, just keep it to a minimum. So first is this plant-based sugar alternative, erythritol, y'all. In all honesty, I don't use this that often. I've only used it a few times, but I like having this option. You know, it gets the job done. Next are some chocolate chips. So these are white chocolate chips, 28% cacao, no sugar added from the brand Bake Believe. Y'all, these are so bomb. Oh my goodness. So 
This brand is actually cheaper than the Lily's brand and Chalk Zero. So they have it obviously also in dark chocolate. This is the dark chocolate. And let me show you guys what the sizing actually looks like compared to the Lily's brand. So these two are the white chocolate and the dark chocolate from the Bake Believe brand. And right next to it or below it is the Lily's brand. Next is this nut flour blend. It has coconut, walnut, almond, and pecan flour all combined. And I picked this up because I thought it would have, you know, like a distinct or significant flavor. Unfortunately, though, it did not. So I was kind of disappointed. I did make cookie cheesecakes with them, and it was good. So these are the chocolate chip cookie cheesecake bars, which I made using that nut flour blend. Ooh, sheesh, these were so good, so bomb. I have the recipe on my Instagram, so go check out my Instagram page on my IGTV. Y'all, I'm not even a, a dessert person. I don't even like sweet things, but this was such a great treat. So if you like big goods, I'm sure you'll love it. And the recipe was so simple too, so check it out. Next is almond flour. This is a keto baking staple and there's so many recipes incorporating almond flour here on YouTube. But y'all, like I said, you want to keep these flours to a bare minimum, especially if you're new on keto or are just experiencing a weight loss stall. I just, I got to keep it real, y'all. Just be mindful. Next is ground flaxseed, y'all. This is an absolute must in every single grocery trip I make because this is what I use in making my one ingredient flaxseed fufu. If y'all wanna see the recipe for that, you have to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. My YouTube village people, I got y'all, but I like to subscribe. Tell me subscribe, get back where no video, I beg. So just help our ministry and just jejeli subscribe. All right, my village people, so that is all for today. I hope you all found this Walmart grocery haul useful. If you have any questions about any of these products, let me know in the comment section. And I got you, of course. So if you ended up watching this video till this very moment, I just want you to know that you are a real one. You are a real MVP. So please leave me a smiley face emoji in the comment section below so that way I know who you are and I'll be sure to give you a shout out in my next video. All right, talk to y'all later. Peace.